Yes, 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 hello and welcome to my channel. My name is T-Man and here I say yes please to different music related stuff. And today I'm saying yes please to the waveform visualizer. So that's the one I just quickly put up the top. Um, I was, I've actually been using the old spectralizer, but um, I put a video out the other day and I put it into the Facebook group and someone um, didn't comment on my video and didn't say anything about my music went straight to the spectralizer and said that they wanted it for their video. But I'll let the guy off because he's a house DJ and we know what they're all like. And unfortunately, he's a good friend of mine and family. So his name is DJ Master Gain and he's doing his YouTube thing as well. So if you want to check him out and listen to some house, disco, uh, funk and music like that, DJ sets, bit of d &B on there as well, um, go and click on the link in the description below. So... Yeah, so I went to show him that one, and it the, that visualizer, the spectralizer, sorry, and it had been taken off. So I've quickly just downloaded that one and tested it out. Obviously, there seems to be a lot more you can do with this one, but I've just done a really basic one at the top there at the moment. So first things first, I'm going to open up another instance of OBS. So when I screen record and I show you on OBS I don't end up in an infinite loop if you know when you, if you use OBS you'll know what I mean so first things first go on the link in the description below this I'll name it OBS link and click on there and it will take you to so once I'll just open up this other OBS sorry um, yeah that one's open now so it'll take you to that. So I'm going to turn on my screen record and show you. So once that should be on now. No. Right. So that's the infinite loop I was telling you about. So I've got the other OBS open. Right. So use the link. Open broadcast software, and here you say it's called the waveform. You've got a little video of what it can do. It's quite cool. You can add um, all your different styles of waveforms. So I like these. These look a lot better than the ones that I've got at the moment. So I will be setting that up. I have just downloaded it, but I haven't got time to set it up. I'm just making a video to show um, DJ Master Gain how it's done, or anyone else that stumbles upon this video. So yeah sort of helps to your um, your live streams and that on there. So what you want to do is first click on to go to download. You want to scroll down. Um, I know he's on Windows, I believe. So you want to go on to the waveform setup. Click on that. Uh, say in 23 minutes, that can't be right. Right, so once it's done, it, it's there. So that's the second one I downloaded. Just click um, yes, allow it on there. So I put I accept the agreement, put next, put next, right, put install. It isn't going to let me install because I've got my OBS and then I've got the second OBS open. So it's not going to allow me to open, um, show you and download it while I'm on I've got the OBS running. So it what will happen on this one is it will take you to um, a folder to save it and it'll be in the OBS plugins folder. So make sure it's in that one. It should do it automatically. It did for me. And then, so I'm exit the setup. And then once that's done on there, you go over to, um, if you've got, close your OBS, open your OBS. And then you want to go to your sources, put a plus, add. And now you see I've got my spectralizer there. I've got a waveform visualizer. So you want to click the waveform visualizer, call it what you want, press open. So the main thing here is you want to add an audio source. So I know he's got his uh, music running in. So mine is I restream the sound from Ableton into the mic's awk input. So if I click on that, that has now opened the waveform for me so if I hold shift 
move that across like that. You can adjust it and then do waveform. So if you want to go into the settings, just double click on it. You've got different ones. So that's on the curve. So if you go to the bars, you can have different bars. What you oh stepped bars, level meter, stepped level meter. We'll go back to bars for now. And you just need to have a play around really. There's lots of different settings on here that you can do. I'm going to have a play around with it once I'm done. It's quite similar to the last one. You just set the bars, how many height. You just need to play around with it really. Um, and the next main one, so they've got some other ones on here I haven't used yet. But floor, ceiling. So this looks like it's got a lot more um, settings on there, which is good solid so the main one is color so we'll set that to bright blue press ok then there you have it that is the waveform visualizer and obviously you could probably set it around your picture if you wanted etc etc so i'm going to go back to my main camera now right so there we have it that one up there is the waveform visualizer and that one is the spectralizer that they've taken down. So if this video was helpful, then uh, please give me a subscribe. If not, um, you're not interested, just and you got your visualizer, that's fine. I'm just, go, I'm just doing my thing. But if you want to watch any of my videos, I'm doing different stuff um, around the home studio and just adding stuff as I go. And part of this set, my setup is Ableton and OBS to record it through my webcams because it's a lot quicker and I'm just preparing everything for live jams and sets and that. So thank you very much. My name is T-Man and take it easy.